Hello friends, welcome back to How We Do Life. For those of you who are new, my name is Stephanie and welcome to you all. I am going to clean and declutter and organize my cabinets. I'm probably gonna, not probably, I'm definitely gonna be switching some things around because things aren't working for us in the kitchen the way they are. And um, I wanted to take you along on the journey. This may be split up into several different videos. We'll have to see about that. But the cabinets are in desperate need of decluttering and desperate need of reorganizing. So I want y'all to come along with me. This cabinet right now houses our overflow of baked goods and like condiments and things like that as well as vitamins and drinks like teas and water enhancers and stuff like that. These cabinets here house our drinking glasses and coffee mugs. It needs a definite overhaul of this. This is the cabinet above our microwave. It houses like um, water bottles and things like that. And then also our vinegars and oils um, over on this side. This cabinet to the right of the microwave has all of our spices. I just recently redid most of this cabinet right before the holidays. This is the next cabinet over and this is always a mess. This has like sprinkles and cupcake liners and even our egg dyeing stuff for Easter. It has like the bigger measuring cups and then the smaller measuring cups and measuring spoons. This here is our corner cabinet, and it, I need to figure out something to do with this. It is a mess, but we have grilling stuff up there. We have flower pots and dishes. We have dishes here and more flower pots and a gravy boat thing and stuff for canning. Um, and down here is some more dishes, like uh, serving dishes and um, parts to the blender. And um, let's see, I think that thing's Christmas. And then this is to our immersion blender that broke. So there's that too. This is the cabinet right by our sink. And it has our bowls and plates, wow. Okay, it didn't want to focus. So this has our bowls and plates um, all in this cabinet right here. This is our cabinet on the other side of the sink and this one is always a mess. I have our canning jars and then other water bottles and stuff that doesn't fit over there and then that's like our insulated containers for lunches and lids and all sorts of things. This cabinet is to the right of our dishwasher and it's hard to see in there, but honestly, all it is is um, drying racks. Oh, somebody put that in there. Uh, drying racks and pans. This is the cabinet below our sink, and stuff is just thrown all in there. This is the cabinet just to the left of under the sink, and this is where cupcake pans and our roasting pan and our 9 by 13 like Pyrex dishes and things and then there's also the other baking pans up there if you can see them pie plates um, our 8 by 8s 9 by 9s all that stuff is under there this is the cabinet to the right of the stove it has mixing bowls cutting boards it has some stuff up there that we almost never use and stuff back there that we almost never use. Under our stove, this is where we keep our lids for our pots and pans. Okay, are you ready? This cabinet has our food storage containers. <sighs> My boys do such a great job in organizing this and it always ends up back like this. And they're not the only ones that do it, I do it too. And this cabinet has our pots and pans, and they are a mess. Nothing's organized in here. It used to be, but it's not anymore. Oh, look, then there's a baking dish. That doesn't even belong in there. I also have these cabinets. It's our um, china cabinet, and we store stuff in here, and it, there's no rhyme or reason. Everything's just stuffed in there. I can't, there's no door to open the middle here, but things are shoved there, and I can show you this side too. I do have some cookbooks and some recipes there. Recipes or something else that I desperately need to go through. Look, those are skewers for like uh, hot dogs or marshmallows for the fire. 
As far as the drawers, this is still the um, china cabinet. And this is where I have our um, hand towels for the kitchen and the, I just bought these from TJ Maxx. Um, and then these are dish towels. This other drawer over here has our food storage bags and press and seal, parchment paper, aluminum foil. This drawer here is above our baking dishes and it's kind of just an everything drawer for all of the utensils and things. This drawer here is our cutting drawer. So it has all of our knives and things that cut, like our um, pizza cutters. And then this is a honing tool to kind of hone the knives to have them last longer. This drawer over here is right above our food storage containers. And this is just our pot holders and our trivet. This drawer is for our silverware, and we need a new drawer for silverware because this we have just so much. So I want to move this somewhere else, but that's our silverware drawer right now. And lastly, this drawer here. This is kind of our, I would say, utilities drawer. Um, it does have toothpicks, and it does have some pens and a Sharpie for when we need to mark something. And these are, have been thrown in there. Matt got the wrong size. And we just th threw them in there. I'm trying to map this out in my head. I think I want to do the silverware here. It's the longest drawer that I have. And so I think I might clean this drawer out first just so I can get it cleared to put the silverware in. Um, and then under here where it's my... Um, baking pans and roasting pans and stuff like that. I think I'm going to make this my food storage. Um, it's large. It should be able to keep things a little more organized um, and put together. And I think I may also put like my storage bags and things in here. Um, parchment paper, all of those things. So I'm going to get to work on these two. This first and then probably this since I know what I'm doing with those. Oh yeah and before I forget make sure that you have a box to put your donating in and those things that are broken just throw them in the trash. flimsy. So although it's a little bit warped, it's still useful. I don't like to use it, so I don't. I never reach for this. I almost never use these, and I can just use forks. I never use this zester. This isn't a zester. This is a um, juicer. <laughs> I don't use this juicer. I thought I would. I use this juicer. I don't use these skewers, like, ever, and I have other spatulas. I don't need that one. I'm going to throw these out because they're like cut or melted and this is broken. I feel like I probably don't need this many spatulas either. I really like the purple and the blue and my Pampered Chef one. I use this when I'm making like really big things because it's really long. Let's see if you can see how long that is like from like my head to my chest. I might donate a couple of these and just keep the two pretty ones that I like as well as my Pampered Chef and my other one. I use this when I'm decorating cakes, although I'd like to get an offset spatula, so if I do that, I'm gonna get rid of this one. So I don't need two um, butter knives, so I will just pick the one that is in the best condition and get rid of the other one. And I can probably get rid of these, the corn cob knobs. We don't use them. On to the next. While I'm doing those utensils over there, I figured I might as well go. I have two of these, one on either side of my stove, and I might as well go ahead and go through those because um, 
that's where my other utensils are the ones I use the most and there's some things in here that I really don't need like these why well, I have so many of these I only need two because I'll like pick up meat with it like that and that's it holy moly so I have one two three four five six seven I have seven what is wrong with me these are nice and they match I'll keep these I like to have a couple of like the whisks if I'm making something regular and something gluten-free um, so I don't have to keep washing it and possibly cross-contaminating something else I can work on getting rid of is some ladles like I said I only need two one for regular one for gluten-free I really don't use this much it bends really easy so I'm gonna get rid of this one too getting rid of this one it's flimsy and this so I'll keep that one and then I guess I'll keep that one Why do I need five? I also have these that I just washed and I love to use these. They're my bamboo spoons. I think they're all from Pampered Chef, but they're my bamboo serving, or not serving, but my bamboo spoons. I like those. I also have two more of the spatulas, but they're the plastic ones and I'm gonna donate those as soon as they come out of the dishwasher. I'm sorry guys that ended up being blurry but I'll show you the things that I did decide to get rid of one of these had dropped out and I don't like these they're just so flimsy and I don't use them because I don't like them, but then I keep them, so we're getting rid of them. This is nice. I used whoops, I used to use this to cook my bacon on. I hate to clean them because it's so hard to clean on the cracks here, so I'm going to donate this. I don't need this one. I have my nice Pampered Chef one. And I'm going to get rid of this. I loved it when I had it, but since it got scratched up and stuff, I don't like to use it as much. It's still usable, so I'm going to donate it but I like to use my other ones better. And then I also have this Christmas pan that I thought I would use. I've had this for probably about, um, probably about 14 or 15 years and um, I have not used this in at least 12 years. And so I'm gonna donate that. I'm also gonna donate this pan because I usually use the glass ones. So I only use this one if my glass ones are dirty, so I just need to wash the glass ones and use those. I'm going to donate this as well. Now that I have that cabinet cleaned out, I'm going to go through my um, food storage containers and then move them over to the big cabinet. had to uh, take my hoodie off <clears throat> now what I want to do is I want to go through all of these and only keep the ones that have lids to them so I'm going to match up the containers to the lids these are all the pots and pans that I have some of them I don't like so I don't use but I've just never taken the time to get rid of them so I'm gonna go through these now some of them stick really bad. I've washed that one, I don't know how many times, and I can't get that off. Um, I know a lot of people like the copper, but I don't have a lot of luck with the copper. Um, I prefer this here, if I'm gonna have non-stick. I prefer this one. I don't know what it is, but we use it literally every day. Bring the funk back. back, back.
what I decided to get rid of was the red copper stuff. This is the lid to this red pan. But I have these two, a large and medium square, a big pot here. Then I have two of these small square pans over here. But I have four of these copper pans. And then I have a large skillet here, which we don't use either. I'm gonna get rid of all of those things right there. I also decided to get rid of this pot as well. that I'm gonna keep. When I have guests come over, I usually have you know, coffee and things like that. So when people come over, I'll have enough or when the kids want hot chocolate, there's enough for everybody to have a mug. But all of these things, I'm getting rid of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I'm getting rid of 11 coffee mugs. And we do have these that when we've been out before, there was drinks that came in these. We don't need all of these little cups. So I kept a few. And I'm getting rid of all of these. different days because I've been just taking it into small little chunks so you can do the whole thing in one day um, or you can do it you know little chunks throughout the week and get it taken care of so I am going to work on this atrocious cabinet right here <music> for joining me today if you like videos like this please hit the thumbs up button and don't forget to subscribe and stay tuned for part two where you can see the before and after of my cabinets and my drawers I hope you all have a great rest of your day thanks for hanging out with me and I'll see you in the next one bye guys <laughs>